Howdy and hello, I'm Dill. Hope you're doing good. Here's a walkthrough on how to beat Power Maniac and the First Ascendants. In a full group, this will be the general pub of you and your teammates. It's a tough fight. Folks aren't bringing the proper stuff and in a full four man, the bosses deal more damage and take less damage. Solo is going to be way easier or duo. I promise. In the first three attempts, I almost killed him. Or well, the first two attempts, I almost killed him. Third one, I got him. Versus in a group, it took me an hour and a half of misery, getting him nowhere near close to dying. For this boss, take 2100 fire resistance. Upgrade that defense module for your descendant. Bring chill attack for your weapons. I didn't even have that, unfortunately. And I also brought shock on accident. So I had HP, I had a defense and skill power module for my character, and fire resist. Those are the three defense things I had. And I was tanking a lot of stuff. Now here begins the walkthrough, brought to you by the Odo Dojo coin. Links in description. I'm playing J Bear, and I don't really have the craziest damage, I don't think, but my turrets are kind of nice right now. I'm going to place them in the lava here. I don't think they get damaged by it, but my goal is to pop my ultimate and do some damage. So for you, just do whatever you can to do as much damage out the gate the moment you can start hurting him. You can hit tab or you do your little reveal thing to scan for the weak points. It's going to be his shoulders and the outside of his calves. I think he has a below sternum weak point as well, and he has two on either side of his helmet. And I'm just, I'm not taking anywhere near the same damage I was before. That fire attack, if you double jump correctly, so before the fire erupts, you'll avoid the damage. Pretty sure. It's rather consistent. And I'm just keeping my turret alive while it's tanking some damn. I think if my pistol had chill attack, it'd be doing so much more damage than my assault rifle, but oh well. My weapons are only level 62. The boss is 66. Probably pretty common though, honestly. For that fireball thing, it shoots out smaller tracking balls. And you can either run towards it and stop from attacking too often, which is a smart move. I jumped too late there. Or you want to get behind cover. Those are your two options. Running away from it just prolongs how long it exists shooting fireballs at you. And you'll take more damage. So run towards it if you have to. Or get behind cover if you can. And when he spawns at any of the AOE or any of the mobs above him, those are priority. Smaller dudes, they drop you resources and they can also hurt you, so kill those obviously. Best you can. And even these guys get mowed down. The damage difference is insane. Like, if you do one solo run, you'll see just how crazy fast it can be. Okay, he missed. But I, I'm pretty sure you can jump that. I have somewhat high faith in that being a possibility. We'll see though. It does help that he keeps focusing my turrets. It gives me breathing room. I can save myself from using my heal turret. I'm waiting to get J Bear's double offense turret. Although for bosses, I may not do that because the self heal is kind of nice. Okay, I, I didn't know. See, look, I'm running away from it. Took like five hits. Rookie mistake. I think I don't learn to run towards it until later in the fight. And I'm always fiending for MP. I gotta find some better modules for mana power, or whatever the MP stands for. Brother, hit me with that attack so I can show folks you can jump over it. I ult with both my turrets, and on J-Bear I wait for my Q to come back. I'm gonna place that down. I'm not a fan of removing colossi parts. I don't know why. I feel like usually they stagger if you just break them. I do that. If you ult on J-Bear, it makes your turrets explode or do big damage, they go away. Okay, see, I can get behind that. I get hit twice though still, so it's not particularly worth. That middle part I just broke, that was one of these other week's points. But we are at... I can't see the timer. I think we're pretty decent on timing so far. During this phase, jump over the rings and shoot the yellow, shoot the pink thing on his back the best you can. This part's easier in a group because one folk can be distracting other, other people can be shooting. I'm the main focus, so it's tough. I can use my turrets. Potentially, now. But shooting that turret with Jaybird's thing, it makes it so it taunts. The healing one makes it so it taunts. Fun fact, I didn't know that. But that yellow, that pink thing. What's with yellow? What am I saying yellow for? 
bursted through it quite quick. I think we're at six minutes. I can't see the timer. Those things spawn. Takes like a burst and a half to kill if you could just hit a shot. Hit a shot challenge level impossible. That flamethrower is cheating. Okay, I died. You get three deaths, by the way. You can't see it. My camera's blocking it. My condolences. Even if I don't have my camera on right now, it's still blocking it. Because this is a recording of my stream. Smile. I jumped it. You saw that? I jumped it. Told you. So here, if you want to go for the legs, definitely scan to see where you're supposed to be shooting. I rolled, I essentially rolled towards the ball. And it only hit me twice. If I ran away from it, it would have hit me like five, six, seven, eight times. And my turret does pretty good damage, although the range is not great. If you play J-Bear, which may be a not a high market of people doing that, you want to have range on your turret. It's more important than the crit chance, more important than that stuff, I think. Because right there, he walked back just a little bit and could no longer hit him. So I might invest in skill range. And that yellow thing is another weak point. Which I'm not quite sure what breaking those does outside of potentially making them stagger. Some folks said it maybe gives you more loot. I shot that thing with the, the pistol and it went away. It even had the purple thing. See, we, we rolled towards it. Although, try not to get hit by the actual lava ball. That might kill you. I don't know. I'm quite now. And that's the weak point on the outer knee. Scanning to figure out what it is is huge. All right, we have some stuff back. We can ult. I'm just saying, I'm taking a lot less damage from that when you go towards it. Which is a wee bit counterintuitive, but it's been working out, so I'm a big fan. My turret can't hit him. I'm realizing now if my turret was in range, I would be doing so much better off myself. Yeah, it's down range. Damn. This could be a lot faster. No idea what he's doing here. Powered up his weapon or something? And shooting for the legs is a nightmare. I think going for the shoulders makes more sense because his legs are moving crisscross applesauce while he's standing up. I'm not sure why he's doing that, but he do be doing that. Immune phase number two. I don't think anything changes. Except it's going to be a lot harder to hit his thing because of my current positioning. The damage I'm taking is so much less than I would be in a group. And that's going to be a major problem if you have teammates who aren't taking the proper defense, which people, rightfully so, aren't really eager to do that. No one's going to sit there and go, oh, I can't wait to stack defense and HP and shields, guys. It's going to be so much fun. But you need to for these bosses. And it gets even more crazy on hard mode, which I don't think many folks can be a hard mode quite yet. Some will, but not, not that many. So maybe the folks that are there will know to bring defense. Otherwise, you just die to literally everything. Oh my god, we did it. It's so hard to hit that from the angle I was at. We have two minutes to do a little bit more than half its HP. That's fine. And here I realize going for the shoulders is just better than going for the calves or the, the knee, outer knee, whatever's going on. So that's my main focus. And the healing turret's kind of nice, man. It's slow, sure, but still kind of nice. No ultimate, can't pop that. I will go for the head, the head thing when it's needled down. I said kneeled, kind of weird there, my bad. When the turret can hit him, it's doing a lot. Hard to see, man. At eh, making a mistake, going for the freaking legs. It's not worth. Legs don't make sense unless he's already knocked over. I'm getting snub nosed. I chose just eat the barrel there. Nice. 
just shows you how much damage you can take, though. Don't get too close to the minions on these boss fights. They'll hit stagger you and you die. You'll get chain stunned by four or five of them and you just can't play the game. Just saying, welcome to Overwatch 1 Goats, brother. Hope you enjoy your stay. Pop ult. Waiting for my Q to come back. I think I have enough juice for it, hopefully. I do. Okay, so... Maybe the jump tech over the flame isn't why well, I wasted it on the heal because he rolled me. And I go back to the heal. For me. Now, I think that if those things stay alive too long, they maybe generate a yellow bar or a pink bar underneath him. What is it being confusing pink and yellow? What's going on here? I don't quite remember it, but we have a 10 seconds left. Cool calm collected. It wasn't that bad, but you want to have the proper stuff. I didn't have chill attack for either weapon. I accidentally brought electric attack for my pistol, which was not good. So I didn't really use it much since he's strong to electric. If I hadn't done that, pistol would have probably been better than my assault rifle. And I could have potentially used my support weapon better. My rare ammo thing but overall that was way better than playing in a group and the boss fight's pretty straightforward spark notes jump over the chain rings potentially jump over the melee flame attack shoot the bots that spawn especially the ones in the air if you can hit weak spots by using tab or whatever the scannability is for controller to see what to hit and bring chill attack for your weapons if you have it if not bring whatever says normal in the damage section and for sure bring fire resistance and some other defense things because the living is important if you keep dying you're doing no damage and your teammates are also doing no damage because they have to revive you so living is pretty huge and yeah that's that's him thanks for watching have a good day